Good morning guys. So today I have a new dog. It's They're not new clients. I've groomed their other dog, but I have not groomed this dog before. Um, she's extremely, extremely nervous. The chin is pretty matted. Um, very coarse um, hair in some spots. So here's what she looks like. So all this under here is just extremely matted. Um, it'll probably have to be shaved. You know, it's just a really thick. Back here, right here, there's a spot of super coarse, like real poodle hair. And then up back here, it's not. So we're going to just get started on her. And then we'll get her in the bath. Okay. You're okay. You're so nervous. I'm so nervous. So, um, I've been having issues with my internet. We have AT&T, and girl, you're okay. She's pretty matted back here. And they just came out to run some tests because my internet is extremely slow. Well, I just have slow speed. Um, needless to say, we have had so much issue with AT&T that it's... We're to the point of switching companies. As soon as my term is up with them, my contract is up with them. Um, I mean, it's taking, the highest speed they can get here is 50 megabytes per second, and I'm only at 25 right now. It's taking me four to five hours to upload one video. Um, at home, they said I could get 100, which is fine because I can't get Cox at my house. Um, it's not available, and then, um, you know, but it's like Cox business. I can get 200, you know, four times what they have to offer. And like we've missed, we've missed, we've had our service, our internet and stuff cut off because we haven't received bills in the mail. Um, they're just, I, I hate, I hate AT&T. And, you know, he was like, well, do y'all have, do y'all have our cell phones with us? And I was like, no, we got Verizon. And he was like, well, how's it been? And I said, it's been great. He said, no issues. I said, no, zero issues. Like he was just trying to fish for something that they were successful at. And, and it's just, <sighs> it's frustrating guys, because for me to upload to YouTube, Right now, I have to go to my parents' house or my neighbor's house. And it shouldn't be like that. You know, it should not be like that. It should be... Yeah, it's crazy. It's ridiculous. So I, it's looking like I'm going to have to shave this entire dog except for maybe the ears. Um, it's really matted up by the neck. It's starting to warm up a little bit, huh? You feel a little better now? You're not so nervous, huh? You're not so nervous? Okay, bro. easy. Yeah, because these mats up here are pretty, pretty tight. So, if you guys don't see a video, you know, as frequently, that is why. I've been trying to schedule them. You can schedule videos to be posted at a certain time, to go live at a certain time. Um, and I've try been trying to do that so you guys have a video every day, but, you know, I can't always do that. You're okay. Good girl. So, the reason why we shave before bathing a matted dog is when you bathe a matted dog and then they dry, it actually tightens the mats and makes them worse. So that's why when you guys see the really bad matted dogs, that's why. Um, because they've just... It's just... Is a lot more matting. People don't know not to wash their dog if they're matted. Give them a bath and or let them get in the water. This girl's making me nervous with that table. Huh. You, whoa, whoa, whoa. See, yep, you're fine. No, no, no. Quit. You're making me so nervous because you're crazy. You're being crazy. 
I've groomed her sister. They're both golden doodles. The other one was white. I'm about to have to go down to a 10 just because I don't want to have to keep digging at her skin with the seven blade. so matted this coat could stay long if if it would be brushed every day it's not that long of a coat so I used to live in a condo and then when I moved we put my I have direct TV we, we put my direct TV on hold um, so we could move and apparently when they came out and installed my internet something happened with that um, because it's internet it's sh they said it's not even showing that I have internet service at my house like we don't even have internet and they came out and installed it and did all that and I don't know what the heck happened but I'm I'm done with AT&T um, Ugh. It's been such a mess. So I'm going to move to a 10 just because behind that leg can get some cuts in it from the ligament tendon that's back there. I didn't cut her, it's, there's like a sore back here, a scab that I hit. Um, it's all right, I'll clean it. Usually when you use a 10, it'll fluff up after the bath and you'll be able to use a seven after. Most dogs, not all guys. Don't quote me on that. Come back and say, oh, I had to save my dog with a 10 after. Most of the time it works out. You're going to feel so much better. I saw an article the other day about how someone had a groomer, not local, but I don't, I don't know where it was, but had cut, I believe it was a PetSmart Petco groomer that had cut the dog's end of the, the end of the dog's tail completely off. So, guys, we work with extremely sharp objects. You have got to be very careful and, you know, pay attention to what you're doing so you're not permanently injuring a dog.
so much easier to do the inside of the leg from the opposite side so you can actually see what you're doing. What? It's not lunchtime yet. I understand that. Guys, she just had breakfast and she's had crackers. She's, she's fine. It's only 9.30. Easy. Remember, this doesn't have to look pretty. We would just want to get all the hair and mats out and off. Okay. Switch blades. So to test your blade, if your blade is getting hot, it can burn the dog, what's, what's called a clipper burn. You want to feel it on the inside of your wrist or your arm. And if it's warm to you, it's warm to the dog and you need to change your blade. So I have several blades of the same size so that I can switch blades. Come over here. So again, using a tin. You can see that it's matted in here, all this. Can you stand up? Reminds me of another dog I do. The one I just did, Gracie. Just not as light of a coat, but same texture of a coat. Just super soft and fluffy, unique, unique coat. Hey, 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 easy. You're okay. Clean up as you go, guys, and you won't have a big mess at the end. Just gonna lift her leg up. Just some of that. Can you sit? Sit. Good girl. Easy. 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 Hey, 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 hey. Hey, 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 hey. Easy, girl. Good girl. No, no, no. You're okay. Hey, hey, hey. I know you're so nervous. You can lay down. Yeah, that's fine. What are you doing? Just so matted back here. Girl, I've got to, no, I've got to get this done. Hey, 
Hey, hey, hey, easy. Girl. Oh, my land. This dog is so nervous. Up, 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 up. Up, up. Nope, stand up. It's a little tiny warm. Um, we'll go ahead and switch it out for the cooler one. See if that helps any. Hey. I think I can get this stuff out um, with my new slicker brush. Just going to okay. try to take this off again and keep her standing. Oh my goodness. I'm not holding her down. I'm just holding her ear up. I'm going to end up having to shave this whole head and leave the ears. Um, it's just too matted, all this in here. This right in here, it's just matted. So I've had a lot of questions about what is matting. So imagine a human with a rat's nest. It's just like that, except all over the body. You know, just tangled mess. You look so funny. But I mean, just all of this in here is just matted.
Easy. Never want to use a seven on a matted face. You can cut the tongue or the lip and get the, the lip, the, you know, this lip stuck in the clippers. You want to do what is safest for the dog, not necessarily what the owner wants, um, because that's how it should be. Is you, you, the groomer, are here for the comfort and safety of the dog. And if a client doesn't agree with that, go somewhere else. Come on, pup. Girl, you have to stand up and then it won't choke you. Okay, I'm just gonna get all this off and then we'll get her in the bath. Sorry guys, I know you can probably hear her breathing into the mic. I'm sorry. Never wanna, if you guys are not experienced, never, ever, ever use a seven in the armpit. Ever, never, ever, ever. You're almost guaranteed to cut the armpit. Use a 10. Especially when there's matting in there like this one. Guys, my wrist is doing so much better um, with me decreasing the amount of dogs I'm doing and wearing a brace at night, thanks to the subscriber that sent it. Um, it has been great. I, every once in a while, if I'm doing something at home that's repetitive, then I start feeling a little bit of pain. But at work, I haven't had any pain in, since I got the brace that I wear at night. I'm going to turn her and stop coming over here. Just need to get some more of this better. All right, come over here. Almost done. And we can go get her in the bath. I can call AT&T and I can go eat breakfast. What do you think? You feel better? Hmm? You feel better? Okay, 
So I'm gonna get her in the bathtub and then while she's in the bathtub, we'll clean her ears out. All right guys, so we're gonna clean out her ears. Yes, this is the most biggest, that's not proper English and I know that guys, but this is the most biggest thing of ear powder I've ever had. And I accidentally bought two of them. So I have two of these. So we have plenty of ear powder for y'all so I can make these videos. Okay, gonna get plenty of powder in those ears, doesn't matter, because we got plenty of it and it's gonna be washed off. So we're just gonna rub it around in there and just going to, you wanna get all this hair around it too, because that can be plucked off too. This um, happens in dogs that have continuously growing coats, poodles, um, shih tzus, you know, whatever. And you really want to get all of the hair that can be plucked off, not just the inside, but all this up here that can be plucked off too. You want to get that too. Girl, come on. So all this hair up there, that can also be plucked off. You know, I'm not yanking it. I'm just barely, I'm just grabbing it and pulling it off and it, if it needs to be plucked, it'll come off. But this just allows the hair to grow. I mean the, sorry guys, the ears to breathe. So you're not growing, you know, yeast and bacteria and, and stuff like that in it. So you want to get in there and get all that hair out. If I wear gloves doing this, I can't feel the hairs that I can't see. Um, that's why I don't wear gloves doing this. I need to be able to feel the hair. Because if you don't feel the hair, how the heck are you supposed to get it out? Mm -mm. Okay, just gonna check it. Still some in there. Don't have to get it 100%, but you wanna get what you can, okay? So I had her turned, but she didn't stay. Put her over there so she can't turn. So we're just gonna do the same thing. We're gonna take it, just. I you know I'd rather have way too much than not enough. So just take it. You know, if this hurt a dog, they'd be whining. Yeah, there's some dogs that don't like it, but it has to be done. <coughs> you have to get this out because if you don't, the ear cannot breathe. Um, water, debris, dirt gets stuck down in there and the ears can't breathe and they get infections. You got to take them to the vet. They got to flush their ears. Um, the ears should be cleaned at least every three months, preferably once, you know, once a month or twice a month just to for just for maintenance but with big dogs that have big open ears like this you really need to look and make sure you're getting all the hair especially the ones that's like deep down in there you want to get in there and get it out um, I've had I've had a, a few people call me and be like oh you're torturing the dog how dare you remove that dog's ear hair get over yourself get out of here um, it's got to be done. If you don't like my channel, get out. Don't leave me a message. There's some down in there that I can't reach. But it's okay. I got most of it out. So now what we're going to do is just spray some ear cleaner. Do not use anything but ear cleaner. That is made 
specifically for dogs. Do not use water. Do not use rubbing alcohol. Do not use hydrogen peroxide. You want to use dog ear cleaner. It's got, um, what it's made out of is it won't leave liquid in the ear. It, it evaporates, so you won't um, cause ear infections from moisture. All right, so now we're gonna bathe her. So see how clean the ears look now? Okay, now we're just gonna bathe her and then get her in the cage dryer. Are you a puppy? Guys, she might be a, a young dog. That's why she's acting like this. It may be her first time or whatever to be groomed. Ooh, that's hot. There we go, that's better. She's gonna get her all wet first. Do those anal glands, make sure to do those because I can smell her. So a lot of people don't understand how this bathing system works. With the bathing system, it gets dogs cleaner than just soaping them up and then rinsing them. Um, there, have, there has been some confusion about, you know, the way I bathe the dogs doesn't get them as clean as, uh, you know, bathing them by hand. And that's just not true. Um, I have bathed dogs before at my old work, my old business, um, by hand, and they never, ever, ever got as clean as they do with this bathing system. And the reason that is, is when you bathe dogs with this bathing system, instead of just soaping them up and the dirt being on there and then you have to rinse them and then you have to bathe them again, this has continuously clean, soapy water and it allows the dirt just to be washed away in more clean soapy water to be put on the dog it's a lot more effective than bathing by hand um, you know i've had several clients that have said oh my dog has never been this clean or my dog has never smelled this good and that's because when you hand bathe to to do the equivalent of this bath with a as with hand bathing You'd have to wash this dog probably three times. Um, so we're gonna rinse her. The link for this bathing system and nozzle is linked down below. The shipping address for us is also down below. Make sure all the soap is off, guys. If you don't get all the soap off, it can cause uh, skin irritation, and we definitely don't want that. Okay, it's going to just kind of squeegee with my hand all the excess water off. Then I'm gonna fold towels after this too, because I don't have many towels left. I have about 30 towels, and I'm down to three. Three left, Ugh. three left. So it's gonna dry her with a towel and then get her in the cage dryer. Um, I haven't heard from that girl that had came in looking for a job. I don't know if she found somewhere else or she just decided that she didn't wanna work here, but I haven't heard anything, but I'll keep you guys updated on that. Um, I was really looking forward to having a bather, and I'm thinking about going and looking for one now. Um, it's just, it would be nice. Um, not only that, but I wouldn't necessarily have to do 
the everyday business things that I need to do if someone's here that can do it, such as folding towels, such as vacuuming this hair up, um, you know, whatever it may be. So also I've had some questions about why do you put big dogs up top? And the, hey, hey, chill, 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 chill. The reason for that is these cages, these cages are smaller. Um, so it takes them less time to dry than the bottom ones. And with the bottom ones, they tend to push these, they tend to push these dividers out. Um, so that's why I put the, if I can lift them, that's why I put them up here. All right, guys. So this dog, we probably are going to have to do a 10. It is short. Um, we're just going to get it done. Shouldn't take that long. Some dogs you can do a 10 before bath and get away with a seven after, but this dog was so matted that I'm not gonna be able to do that. Alright guys, had to answer that. So you can see there are some sores. There's a sore right here. There's a sore on the inside of the leg that I felt. Um, sores happen with mats, guys. You've got to get your dog groomed on a regular basis. Even if it's just a bath, like my dog Eli, I know if I don't bathe him at least once a month, he gets really itchy and starts chewing on himself, making himself raw from just, because there's so much dirt on his coat. Um, even with short haired dogs, like pit bulls and stuff, guys, you've got to groom them. You know, even if you do it yourself, bathe your dog, trim your dog's nails. Like you gotta, you gotta get it done. So I'm going to turn her, get the other side. Up, 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 up. <clears throat> Cord's getting twisted. So when you do this, you can see you've got to do the final groom because if you don't, this is what it's going to look like. It just looks unfinished. You've got to do the final groom. You can't just you cannot cut a dog and then 
bathe it and think you're done. That's not how it works. You gotta do the final groom. It just looks unfinished, it's unprofessional. There's some matting in there um, on the feet. So I will get a 30 blade to do that with. Anybody else get dizzy when they sneeze? Sometimes, I don't always, it doesn't always happen, but I do get dizzy sometimes when it happens. Change to a 30 blade. Okay, so that is why you have got to get in there and get that stuff out, guys. That is like us having rocks in our shoes and just having to having to live with it for months. Like that was in, in between his feet, his paw pads. You have got to get in there and get that stuff out. Never use a 40 blade, guys. I used to use a 40 blade all the time and it was just too short and it would cut the inside of the dog's feet. Okay, so it's there's no cuts in there because I'm using a 30 instead of a 40. You're okay. This one, that one's, I'm gonna have to work on that one. I'm gonna have to turn her in a minute to be able to work on that one. It's pretty bad. Shelby, please quit kicking.
I get asked all the time, what is easier to groom, little dogs or big dogs? And in terms of like clipper size and you know that type of thing, big dogs all day long. Um, because when you have a little dog, it's hard to get in places. Hey, no. It's hard to get into places with the big clippers. You know, because if you're grooming a three pound dog, the freaking clippers are as big as the dog. And it's like, what the heck? Um, hey. Quit. The blade's not hot. I've checked it. Um, she just is not liking what I'm doing. But you got to get it done. Hi. So yeah, I was really excited to have someone new come in and, you know, teach them everything that I've learned. But um, I have, I've texted her twice. I haven't heard from her. I'm going to text her one more time and be like, hey, you know, just the last time that I'm going to try to get in touch with you before I start looking for someone else to hire. Um, if you're interested, uh, please let me know as soon as possible. So I'm just going to stand her up and I'm just going to look and see if there's any place that I've missed. Just go over it. That is not an injury that I did. That was a pre-existing scab that I accidentally hit. Um, that's, it's gonna happen, guys. You just clean your blades when you're done. Okay, so. Just going to check her nails. Her nails are very short. Um, I don't think I'll be able to trim anything. I'm not even gonna risk it. So all I'm gonna do Stand up. Nope. Let's just trim around her feet. It's the best you can. Okay, you see that mat in there, guys? How you know bad that mat is? That's why she's not wanting me to mess with it. I'm gonna take a 30 blade. No, no, no. Stand up.
There's some mats in between these toes. Just gonna get those out with the clippers. I know, girl. I know, I know, girl. Guys, you've got to get your dogs groomed on a more regular basis. Like, if you can't afford it, talk to your groomer, see if they can help you out. See if you can make, do a payment plan or, you know, something along those lines. Please do not make your dog suffer because you don't have money to do it or you don't have time. If you don't have time to do it, ask someone, hey, can you take my dog to the groomer for me? I'll pay it. I just need someone to get her there, you know? Um, you gotta do what you gotta do. Just like you would for kids. I know, girl. I know that's so painful. Girl, we're almost done. Looks better with the shaved. Okay. What do you think? Can you come back over here? Change my 30 blade. It's a little warm, not too bad, but between the toes on a sensitive area like that, you really want to change your blades. You're okay. Easy. Girl. It's hard for me to do this side because I'm left handed. Okay, so there's the mat. I'm just gonna shave it out. What are you sniffing my ear? Just checking to see if there's mats in there, and if not, I'm not gonna mess with it, but there is in this one. And get it out. Okay, I'm going to trim around it. Put my tin blade back on. Go back over this foot. Sit. 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 Hey, girl, you have got to let me get this done. No. There's a lot of dogs that don't like that right at the end of the nose, but you gotta get it done. Well, it's hot already. No. Girl. 
Oh my goodness. Quit! Come on. These are gonna have to be shaved. They're matted all along this edge in here. Well, let me give this these brushes a try and then see. It just, see how clean those ears are after doing that? So much cleaner. Okay, they're all right. So we're almost done guys. Her nails are so short, I can't trim them, um, which is good. That's how they're supposed to be. But not all dogs come in like that. I'm gonna gently brush this out. I never used to do this on ears, I'd just shave them. But this slicker brush has really saved a lot so far. Just because it's got the longer pins, it can get down in there and get it without me having to sit there and really rake it across and damage the skin underneath and hurt the dog. So we got all that out of the ears. Okay. So I'm gonna take this off, hopefully get her to stay up. And then we're just going to clean this up a little bit under here, you know, behind the ears and stuff. Stay, stay, stay. Good girl. Good girl. There you go. Yeah, you can lay down. She's gonna get all this nasty stuff behind the ears. Okay. So her nails are short. Short, short. Not gonna do anything. Just gonna look at the ears, make sure they're the same. You don't want one ear shorter than the other. Okay, that, put her back on the loop and then get a bandana for her. Come on, up, up, up. come on. Up, 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 up. Okay. Trying to get use up this peach. I don't I like it, but I don't it's not my favorite, so I'm just trying to use it up on the dogs that have been coming in. Just gonna get a bandana for her. Um, with the darker dogs, I like to use a lighter bandana, and with the lighter dogs, I like to use a darker bandana. So it just stands out.
I know there's a lot of people that ask me where I get these guys. I make these. Um, I have two videos that I know of on my channel of me um, making bandanas. Um, there have been some requests for me to sell them. If I were to sell them, it would be a very limited supply. I'm talking maybe 50 bandanas. They would be around $5 a piece and then I would ship them and then I'd be done until I made some more. Um, if you guys are interested in that, let me know. That way y'all don't have to go buy the fabric and make a ton. You can just get one. Um, they last usually around two to three weeks before they start like rolling up and stuff. Um, but they're, I, I love them. They're great. So here she is guys. You're so cute with your fluffy ears. So when she grows out, the ears won't look so misfit on her. You know, they'll, she'll grow out, but I try to keep what I can. So when the dog does grow out, they um, have something to go with it. So there she is guys. Don't forget to check out the links down below. Our wish lists are down below. Um, if you want to help the homeless nonprofit, um, their are links down below. Their address is also now down below so you can send them things. Um, if you want to send them a donation check, that's where you would send it to. Do not send it to me, please, because they're about 30 minutes away and I'd have to go take it down there. Um, and I am super busy right now. So brush out those ears a little more okay so there she is guys i'll see you next time thanks for watching